back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a yummy, delicious dish that always seems to remind me of being back at home whenever I make it. It's a dish that my mom has always made for me and still makes for me today when I go back and visit. The name of the dish is called Tortilla de Berenjena and basically what it is is an egg tortilla made out of eggs of course and eggplant along with a handful of other ingredients that we're going to go over. So, let's get started. Let's go over all of our ingredients. Okay guys, we're going to start off with 12 ounces of peeled and deveined shrimp, 3 eggs, half of a tomato, some olive oil, 3 or 4 scallions, 2 cloves of garlic, and 1 packet of Sazon Goya seasoning. And I have here 2 third cups of Italian breadcrumbs, but we're only going to use half of that. 2 nice size, medium sized eggplants, salt and pepper to taste, half of a medium sized pepper, and some cilantro. Okay, we're going to start off by giving both of our eggplants a good rinse and then cutting off the ends. And we're going to be removing the skin. Okay, and once you have removed all of the skin, we are going to be cutting up our eggs. Okay, and now these are ready to cook. In a nice sized pot, we are going to be bringing three cups of water to a boil and we're going to be cooking this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so let's talk about sofrito, since it is the first part of this dish that we're going to put together. What is sofrito? Sofrito basically is an aromatic blend of onions, pepper, garlic, cilantro, it is, is a blend of herbs and spices that we use to season and add flavor to our dishes. And so that is what we're going to start off with right now. Okay, and now we are going to be working on our sofrito. So we're going to be peeling and mincing our garlic. And I do have to add that sofrito is more like a sauce. It's used as a base in most Latin American cooking. And it is packed with flavor. So basically what we're going to be doing is dicing and mincing our garlic, pepper, scallion, cilantro, and tomato. Okay, and once we are done mincing our veggies, we're just going to give this a good mix. And we are going to get ready to saute our blend of veggies and make our sofrito sauce. And we're going to be cooking this for a couple minutes and adding one packet of our sazon seasoning. Our sauce is almost ready. 
And then you just want to transfer that to another bowl. And in the same pan, we are going to be cooking our shrimp. And I like to use the same pan because I just love all the flavor that's already in there. And just a quick note, I did add salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic to my shrimp. And once your shrimp is done cooking, just set it to the side for later. And by this time, our eggplant is now done cooking and we are just putting it into a strainer. And now I'm just gonna let my eggplant sit for about 10 minutes so that it cools down. Once it is cool, I'm gonna be removing the seeds. And now this part is totally optional. If you're working with an eggplant that does not have this many seeds, then you do not need to remove them. But as you can see, the eggplant that I have does have a lot of seeds, and I just don't like that. Now, I'm not gonna be able to remove every single seed, but I'm just gonna try to get most of it. And next I'm going to use my wooden spoon to press down on my eggplant just to remove any excess water. As you can see there is a lot of water still in there and I'm just going to keep doing this because an eggplant is very much like a sponge. It just retains a lot of water. And now we are going to prepare our tortillas. I'm going to start by mashing the eggplant. So basically you're just going to do this as though you were making mashed potatoes. And next we're going to be adding our sofrito mix. Next our eggs. And you just want to mix that all together. And we're going to be adding our Italian breadcrumbs. And just a quick note, I only ended up using a third cup of this to get the consistency that I wanted. Now we're going to mix in our last ingredient, shrimp. And you just basically want to mix this all up. And what you're going to be left with is pretty much a mushy consistency. And now it's time to fry these up. So I have my stove set on medium high and I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil in my pan. And we are going to start cooking these up. As you can see, I am just spooning the mixture into the pan and just sort of shaping the tortillas up as I go. Once they have cooked, they will be a little bit easier to move around. So once you notice that they have firmed up a little bit and are not losing their shape when you move them around, you can then attempt to flip them over and it can be pretty tricky. Yeah, I don't think that one is ready yet. <laughs> so you just want to cook them for a couple minutes on each side. And then you just want to continue this until all your mixture is gone. And here is our finished dish of tortillas de berenjena, what I like to call 
eggplant pancakes. Okay guys, now it is time to taste test and I love this part. I just wanna let you know that I typically serve this with white rice. Um, I like to make fried bananas and have a little bit of avocado on the side, but you can serve this any way you want. I have tried it with some melted cheese on top and it is really good with melted cheese on top too, so it really is just a preference. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. I have white rice here. Um, I have a little bit of shrimp on top with some scallions and a little piece of avocado. So I'm just going to try to get a little bit of everything if I can get that on my fork. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So many flavors all at once. It's just amazing. Now, I can, because I didn't mash up my eggplant that much, I can taste the texture of the, of the eggplant. So, if, I mean, you really do have to like eggplant to eat this, especially if you don't mash up your eggplant that well. I don't mind the texture because I love eggplant, but I'm just saying, if you're giving this to someone who really isn't a big fan of eggplant, I would probably want to mash it up really good. I'm going to keep eating this. Because it's so good. I hope you make this recipe and I will see you next time. Hey guys, my food for thought for this week is something that I read on Instagram. And I wish that you could see this because it is written over top of a picture of a very busy street full of traffic. And it goes on to read, when you take time with God and listen to his voice, he renews your strength and enables you to handle life. And I read that and I was like, wow, that is just so true because we live in such a busy world. Everything is so fast paced. I mean, for those of you that, I work from home, but for those of you that work outside of your house, I'm sure that when you come home, you probably still have all these conversations that went on from work. Um, you have thoughts from things that you see on TV, all the things that are going on in the news today. And so sometimes we just need to take that time out to spend that one-on-one -on -one with God just to renew ourselves, to recharge ourselves. It's just so vital that we do that. I cannot emphasize how important it is that you do that. These last three weeks, I have challenged myself to go for walks at least five days out of the week. and. During that time, that's when I use to, that's the time that I use to connect with God, to meditate on Him. And when I come back from those walks, I tell you that I feel motivated, I feel recharged, I feel inspired. And all of those good feelings that I'm feeling, I believe, come from the time that I'm spending with God. Not so much because I'm actually walking and getting a good workout, but also because mentally, emotionally, my inner self is just being recharged and it's because I'm connecting with God. And I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to do that this week, to spend, even if it's just a couple minutes a day, just get into a habit of doing it because it will make a world of difference. So I pray that you have an awesome week, an awesome weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I have somebody who wants to say hi. His name is Dash. Dashie Jones. And we love him. He's part of our family. He even has his own Facebook. Right, buddy? Oh, he wants to give me a kiss. A morning kissy. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.